Hey guys, it's Lane here, and today I have a nice video about Ark Survivor Involved and how to level up fast as you can. I'm gonna explain some basic tips how to level up on PvP and PvE. Gonna try to explain it simple as I can. If you guys have any questions or additional facts about level up, please tell me in the comments section below. So the first and most important thing to remember is not to be afraid to die and explore the island as much as you can. If you die, always can get your stuff back by stealing it or even better, craft it. You will get your even more points to do so. By exploring the island, you can get across the explorer note or dossier like you see in the video. And those notes can give you experience boost so for a certain amount of time. Here is the map of the whole area, so be free to pause the video to get a better look. Ok, so let's see what you can do as a level 1 survivor. When you spawn into the game, try to find as many food as you can. You can get berries with, while destroying bushes, and while gathering food you also get resources such as wood, fiber, thatch and stone, and as I like to call them the basic 5. And a small advice to new players, do not eat knuckleberries, they will make you fall asleep and because of that you can get eaten and basically you will die. Now you have food to survive, but you don't get experience to stay alive. So what you want to do is simple and fast. Craft nodes and hats. That's right, you hear that correctly. Those two things are the cheapest and you can build them really really fast. For the hat, you will need only 10 fibers that you can get from harvesting plants by hand. And for the node, just 3 thatch and 1 fiber. Thatch is obtained by harvesting trees, either by punching it or using tools. After you craft one of those items, you will acquire one experience points. I highly recommend crafting the node, but it gets somewhat annoying, so you need to cancel the right node every single time. If you think you can bear with these little annoyances, it's pretty much easy experience. In case you're in tribe, you can do this with your team members and earn double or even triple amount of experience. But remember that it will take some time, but it's the easiest method that I found to level up without potentially doing anything. Just repeat the same method provided above and you will get your desired level soon. If you push your level grinding to level 5, you can now build storage boxes by spending 6 ingram points to unlock it. To craft 1, you will need 25 wood, 20 thatch and 10 fiber. For 1 box, you will receive 3.7 experience. It's not that hard to get all your resources really fast, just to remember we are getting resources, use correct tool for it. Stone picks are best for collecting thatch and flint, on the other hand, stone hatchet are best for gathering wood. And word of advice here, don't drop your crate storage boxes, but place them and destroy them. This will give you back half of your resources, which you can use it for creating some more. If you manage to reach level 15, you can now unlock bow and arrows. You need 11 ingram points for bow and 2 ingram points for the arrow. You get 5 experience when you crafting bow and 0.025 for crafting arrows. But the magic is not in the crafting, but in the killing dinos with, especially sauropods, parasaur and dodos, and some fish. Those are very easy kills if you know what you're doing. With killing dinos you will also get ton of meat and hides, which is also not so bad. Um. What? Oh. From level 15 on you also be able to craft rafts. The resources for it are not so hard to get. 250 wood, 125 fiber and 75 hide. And it gives a reasonable amount of experience, 91 to be exact. The need of resource might seem a lot, but in comparison to storage boxes, you'll need less wood to get the same amount of experience, which is 91. While you're gathering food from bushes, you came across on some necroberries. Like I previously said, you're not supposed to eat them, but you can craft narcotics with them. One narcotic is give you 2 experience points and it's pretty quick. Just make a couple of pestles and fill them up with narcoberries and spoiled meat. 
five necroberries and one spawn meat to be exact. With a stack of 100 of spoiled meat, you should add 500 knuckleberries to be able to create 100 narcotics. To make it quicker, it's advised to divide your amount over different mortars, as you will then craft them in a parallel and get most experience per second. The last advice for you guys that just started to play ARK is to play with your friends. So you can make a tribe and with the tribe system on, you will be gathered to share experience. Not a lot of people know this, but you always acquire experience from your tribe members when they perform any action that grant them experience. However, you need to be in their vicinity to acquire experience from them. Therefore, I will highly suggest doing things with your teammates, whether it is crafting or hunting. But remember that all crafting and building are gonna provide experience for you but if you want to level up fast those steps can give you the advantage that you seek in the game if you like the video please leave a like down below if you wanna see more videos like that please subscribe to my channel you're gonna help me a lot for the end of the video here are some funny moments with my friend have fun see you next time have a good one get out of the rain oh there you are <laughs> I just wanted to know how well trank arrows work against people. You stop it! <laughs> we we knock each other out. We fucking knock each other out, man. That was insane. <laughs> That was priceless, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but like my song kept going on, Ling, and it's like, uh, let me see where I where I leave off. Um, okay, it was. Don't you worry, you pretty scaly head. We're gonna get you back to our base and your cozy raptor bed, and then we're gonna find my best friend Ling, and the end we're gonna give him a best friend hug. Then he woke up. He wasn't tamed, he just woke up because he was out of food and it scared the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> a level 50 raptor just jumped up and started mauling my ass and I freaked the fuck out. So it was like, it went from, then we're gonna find our best friend laying in the end, we're gonna give him a best friend. Oh shit! <laughs> good times, good times. Alex, you're fucking backstroking like a motherfucker, man. That was beautiful. <laughs> Like, you're doing this creepy starfish swim. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so weird. I look backwards, Lionel. Uh, oh god. I'm glad you said that. There's a piranha. <laughs> oh god. Nice instincts, Alex. Nice instincts. <laughs> Come on, inside. Quickly. Come on. Uh, no. Use the door. It'll Yo! Use the door! It's gotta, it, it, it's gotta turn around. No! Oh the door! <laughs> Use the door! <laughs> oh my god! Use the door! Come on! You see that thing that pop up? Use that thing. No! Go left! Come on! Yo, stupid fuck. Come here. Oh my god. Come on. Straight into. No! Oh, oh on, my god. No, no. <laughs> oh! Come on. <laughs> Hang on, uh, Lang. Yeah. Hang on. What? Try this. See if, it, see if it'll follow you over the. Walk it over the rock. What rock? Oh, that's rock. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You can jump over. Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 You stupid clumsy boy or girl. Oh, who are you? I think it's a girl. <laughs>